Hey everyone and welcome to Windows Report and in this video I'll show you what to do if the Xbox Party Chat is not working on your PC. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to check your permissions. Now to do so press the Windows button, then head over to settings, afterwards click on privacy and security on the left pane and then on the right side make sure to locate something like permissions so you have app permissions in here which is an entire category which is responsible for all your devices that require permissions to use in certain apps so in our case we will click on microphone because that's what we're using in the xbox party chat app and in here make sure to locate the xbox application and turn the permission talk to on. Afterwards, you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restart the app and the associated service. Now, the first thing you have to do if you have the Xbox app opened, make sure to close it completely. Afterwards, make sure to click on the start button and simply type services and select services from the system as a search result. Now in here, scroll down until you find the Xbox Live Networking Service. So it's right by the X. Right click on it and select the restart option. In case the service is stopped, make sure to click on start. You can also double click on it then select the startup type to automatic. Save the changes by clicking on apply and OK and you're good to go. Now you can do the same for the IP helper service. So let's locate that one in the I letter category. As you can see it's here, right click on it and select the restart option. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on you can also reset the Xbox app. To do so press the Windows button, head over to settings and then in here make sure to go to apps. This is located on the left pane as a category. Now on the right side click on installed apps, then scroll down until you find the Xbox app and when you find it, in my case I don't have it, when you find it make sure to click on the three dots next to it and select advanced options. Now in here scroll down until you find the reset section and you can start by clicking on the repair button. In this case the app's data won't be affected, but if this doesn't work properly you can also reset the application. In this case the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.